was a full gathering of the British Film Academy to learn which stars and what films were to receive the coveted annual awards. John Slater, Jack Hilton and Arthur Askey made sure there wouldn't be too much solemnity. Yvonne Mitchell is a past award winner. The man of the hour was Trevor Howard, honoured for the best performance by a British actor. Kurt Jürgens was among the foreign stars present. Presiding at the presentation ceremony was the Academy Chairman, James Laurie. The winning stars having been named, everyone was curious to know what film had been selected as the best of the year from any source. Olivia de Havilland, a great favourite on both sides of the Atlantic, announced it. The award, this is the, Ms. de Havilland is going to read you the name of the film that Room. has won the award from the best, or, or from any source. Room at the top. John and James Wolfe, producers of the film, went up to receive the honour and altogether it was a most pleasant evening for them. And everyone applauded the choice of Room at the Top. Grosvenor House, the British Film Academy Awards and two people to whom the name Virginia Woolf brings no fear, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. Master of Ceremonies Richard Attenborough announced the award winners. Richard Burton was named top actor, receiving the award from the hands of Earl Mountbatten for his performance in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor was voted best actress, also in Virginia Woolf. Coming on top of her Hollywood Oscar for the same performance, this is triumph indeed for Liz. Triumph, too, for that multi-award film itself. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf had reaped honours on both sides of the Atlantic. Husband and wife, both very happy. This is a gathering no one in the film world would miss without good reason. Certainly not our good friend Sean Connery, especially as he has been declared Film Actor of the Year. That's an honour that all actors covet. And Variety Club's choice is approved everywhere. The Heart, the award of show business itself, was thoroughly well earned. Today, Sean is in America, so Pathy News filmed the presentation before he left. Peter Hay. In 1963, Variety made a special award to Sean Connery for his creation of the part of James Bond in the two films Dr. No and From Russia With Love. This year, he receives the award as the best film actor of 1965 for his continued success in the characterization of James Bond in the film uh, Goldfinger, but more important, I think, and Sean will probably agree with this, for the magnificent performance he gave in The Hill. The award is presented now to him by Bernard Delfont. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the Variety Club of Great Britain for giving me this uh, award. Uh, as Peter said, I received one in 1963 for the work I had done on the uh, James Bond films. This one has, a, has much more significance uh, for me because it was for uh, The Hill, too, which, um, although it was controversial, it uh, is also making money. And uh, it's very good for the business, too. If I hadn't done the Vaughn films and uh, get the, uh, and in that way getting the backing to do films like The Hill, uh, then The Hill wouldn't be made and I wouldn't get this today. And, but it's very nice to receive it, and uh, it's really very nice to receive anything you don't have to pay 10% on. To the Dorchester Hotel London for Filmland's Night of Nights. Occasion is the presentation of the Daily Mail National Film Awards, the British Oscars. The evening's guest of honour is dashing Richard Todd, here being greeted with his wife by Lord and Lady Rothermere. Scottish-born Todd has been voted Actor of the Year for his role in The Hasty Heart, chosen also as the Film of the Year. To pretty Jean Simmons, just 21, goes the verdict for the Best Actress of the Year. There at the presentation is visiting Hollywood star Dorothy Lamour. Present to Anna Eagle and Herbert Wilcox. From America comes Irene Dunn, latest arrival in London's Hollywood. Among other British stars, we spot Michael Dennison. 
presented by Lady Rothermere, the Silver Star Statuette, cinema's highest honor, crowns a year of brilliant achievement for Richard Todd. Above all, I want to thank a lot of people who are not here tonight, the public. I personally owe them probably the greatest debt of all, and I'm very conscious of that debt. Thank you. To both Richard Todd and Gene Simmons, the honor has come early in their career. That is indeed significant, for in this golden jubilee year of British cinema, it focuses attention anew on the growing excellence of British films and the men and women who make them. Music